Split screen mode is really useful when examining valve disease. This is because there's so much turbulence going on with your colour Doppler, often the underlying structures are obscured. In this example of aortic regurgitation, using split screen allows us to check that we're properly aligned over the aortic valve, that all three cusps are seen symmetrically, and to be sure that we can state where the aortic regurgitation is arising from. In this case, it appears to be quite central, but you can have cases where there is isolated prolapse of a single cusp. At mitral valve level, similarly, having that split screen allows us to keep one eye on the structure of the mitral valve to make sure we're on axis, we're still at the tips of the mitral valve, that we haven't gone too apically or too basally, given that the movements are so fine in small animals. And then on the other side, by looking at our colour Doppler, we can see where along the mitral valve the regurgitation is arising from. In this particular example, regurgitation is severe but you can have patients where there is just a small jet arising along one commissure or one scallop, and you may wish to report from which segment this is arising. Remember, what we are looking at is a 2D slice through a three-dimensional structure. In this 3D echo, you can really see the gap where blood would be leaking back through. On 2D imaging, we can't always visualise that gap, but we can see from where the colour jet is arising and describe that location. I really hope you enjoyed today's video. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel if you haven't already. And as always, there's a link in the description below where you can book a call and we can find out where you are right now in your echocardiography journey, if there's anything we can do to help, and if you'd be a good fit for our programme. Our programme works best for those who are at beginner level, who are willing to work through the steps and who want to be part of a wider community of people that they can share their images with to receive ongoing feedback. If that's not you, that's fine. Perhaps there's something else we can help you with. So please pop it in the comments below. Thank you.